Good evening, TV Vakwetu. Good evening, the people of Zambia. Good evening, the people of Chwempala. Good evening, the people of Northwestern. Good evening, the people of Eastern Province. Good evening, the people of Kawambwa. Uh, it should be Kawa, Ka, Ka, Kaumbwe constituency. Yeah. Kaumbwe, Kaumbwe constituency in Petauke, where we are having the by-elections. Good evening, the people of Mushindano. Good evening, the people of uh, uh, Kamufinga in the, where is this place? Copper Beard, Masaiti. Good evening, the people of Uchisamba. This, we are coming to you live from TV Bakwetu, and uh, we just want to, to say, to say, everyone discuss a lot of activities that uh, uh, are affecting the nation. But besides that, as we have put on, TV Bakwetu works on a voluntary basis and we depend on the stars that you share with us. Please continue sharing the stars and share a lot of stars with us so that uh, at least we can also continue being in existence. We are also on in the KBN TV, on DSTV and Stopstar. So you can watch us on KBN TV every uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. This evening, I'm joined with the other, a lot of TV Bakwetu friends who are gratis there, Dr. Kansonso there and the warm Kelebae. Could you kindly, Dr. Kasonso, start by greeting the people before we start our discussions? Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Kanika. It's good to see you. Uh, how are you, first of all, yourself? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I, have, I have missed you. We haven't interacted in uh, quite a few weeks now. Um, uh, good evening, all viewers. And it's always a pleasure to have you tune in to TV Vapway 2. Uh, remember to subscribe and also uh, send lots of stars. Uh, we come here to share education, updates on stories, and also to entertain and just interact with um, with you. So uh, I would like to greet my friend, uh, Bom Kelevai uh, Ensha. YouTube is working so <laughs> greet the people before we, we we start with our today's topic. Okay. We uh Kimanzi Wani, Chavasahe Su, Chavasabulozi, uh Zambia, Chungulopom Kwai, Konso Komletu Mkwila, Twa Totela, Pakwisa Nalelo, Tati Tukumane, Twam Twambo Kulanda Kopama, Pafide Chitika Puchalo Chesucha Zambia. Otherwise, the Pashiri Pakuleka to his Saint Pika Tanechapa Mo to Lande Shiwili Mo Tunguleko Naifu to the Eva Wakateka Umaku Maku Makutungule Chalo Natomonati Batui Katapamukosh Awe Kula and Dakota Awe Matui Mat finish Asana M. Quai. Otherwise, my Saint Pom Quai Chungro Pom Quai, especially Benachu Empala. My Saint. Thank you. And Munishan, you are Bagi, the Munishan. Grandis, are you there? Can you say hello to the people before we start with our today's discussion? Please, can you say hello, Grandis? Okay, it's look like Grand. Okay, please say hello, Grandis, please. Good, good evening, uh, my colleagues, and uh, good evening, viewers. Um, uh, we welcome you uh, to this uh, program. I hope you're going to enjoy and uh, participate as much as you can. And uh, kindly remember to send us more stars and also to subscribe. Thank you. OK, thank you. Uh, I know I'm the only one based in Zambia as of now. But here in Zambia, we today we were celebrating National Day of Prayer and Fasting. And uh, that day just brought a lot of discussion to different people here in Zambia, where we saw our president actually was in Masabombe. That's where he observed the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. That has resulted in, in 
some of the PF members starting attacking the president. Then we saw the former president, Ed Garungo, President Ed Garungo, also uh, attending at St. Teresa uh, uh, Church, uh, the prayer and fast, where he didn't go to, to show grounds. Then the other thing that we have, we have issues of the by election that are happening in different areas. Uh, we have uh, the main one, which is the parliamentary, happening in Eastern Province. Then we have the council chairperson happening in Chisamba and the uh, different uh, uh, council uh, elections that are happening in different, type, the different places in the, in the country. Yeah, so today maybe that's where I want us to concentrate more in terms of our discussion. Let's start with the, with the, the day of prayer and fasting. Uh, Dr. Kasonso, please... Uh, can you kickstart the ball rolling over this matter, please? Uh, yes, thank you, uh, uh, Brother Jeremy. Um, the National Day of Prayer was instituted by the PF government, and um, uh, most Christians like the idea. And it's uh, very interesting and gratifying that both the current head of state and the former head of state have respected the tradition of our country to commemorate uh, the National Prayer Day. Um, uh, I, for one, uh, uh, do not particularly commemorate today as a National Prayer Day, uh, because fundamentally, as one person of the faith, I believe that um, Prayer Day is every day. Uh, uh, St. Paul teaches us in Thessalonians that uh, pray without ceasing and in every circumstance, give thanks to God, for it is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So I consider prayer to be a, an, a, an, a significant and associate uh, part of, of, of my life. And, um, uh, and if I look at, uh, at, at that, uh, uh, the nation of Zambia itself also is called a Christian nation. But I don't believe that a political state can be a Christian. Christians can only be those humans who are able to profess individual faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but we can choose as a country to follow the traditions of the Judeo-Christian uh, traditions. And there's, uh, as opposed to being a Muslim country or a secular state, we can choose to be called a Christian nation. Uh, and the other thing I am interested in also, Brother Jeremy, is the instructions of Jesus. In my view, which are uh, probably not the views of other people, uh, the way to commemorate uh, prayer uh, uh, that the Father answers, according to Jesus, first of all, prayer um, that Jesus uh, wants uh, us to make must be behind closed doors and not on the streets or in synagogues or paraded. Uh, prayer is not a ceremony. Mm, Jesus is teaching. Prayer is a communication with God. Therefore, uh, that, uh, it can be done anywhere. Um, and particularly the prayers of Jesus that the Father answers are those that are personal and private in nature. So I don't think um, it should be as big as people try out to make it because the fundamentals of the faith are personal in nature. And where we do corporate uh, prayers, we can do them in our respective churches and not as a country. But if it serves a purpose for my country, I, I, am, I am reluctant to be the significant opposition to the idea. I just don't think it is a very, you know, it's, um, it results into anything that adds anything to the country, uh, both theologically uh, and politically. That's my view on that. Okay. So, in short, you have agreed by what the president said today in Mansa, where he told the people to say you should pray every day, and the prayer should be a, a wherever you are and whatever you are doing on a daily basis. As much as we are observing the National Day of Prayer and Fasting, but people should not at any point be a, a discouraged or should not at any point. A, a, a cease from from playing and waiting for the same uh, day for prayer uh, and fasting. I think that's what the, the the message in terms of prayer, uh, uh, what the president said in in Mansa. Are you agreeing with that? 
the president actually gave uh, some constructive counsel. I am aware that the president is an elder in the church. So, and elders are the ones that are supposed to give people doctrine and uh, correct doctrine. So he's right on the money on that score. Uh, prayer is not uh, something that we commemorate on a day. Uh, prayer is a part of our walk with God. And because of that, we do it every day, everywhere, every time. Yeah, so, um, but I also relate with the, the theological concept that went in into declaring a day for, for national prayers and stuff like that. Sometimes what is expected doesn't get done. It's what is inspected <laughs> that gets done. So uh, if we can get a day when we can call in the attention of the people to say a prayer for the country and on behalf of our neighbors, uh, that also doesn't hurt. Uh, but we cannot elevate the National Prayer Day as the uh, bull, magic bullet for the country that puts the nation on the right path and things like that. But if it's just there as a ceremony to, to call attention to the significance of praying for a country, uh, then that is also is not bad. So I agree with the president. Rom Kerebai. Rom Kerebai. Uh, yes, Bojero. No, me, I am um, I'm in between the, the two. I agree and I disagree. I, I agree because I am a Christian by, uh, by birth, of course. I, all the Zambian people grew up in Christian uh, families, most of them, not all of them. And, uh, and, and, and we understand and we respect God and we do pray, and I feel that uh, prayers should not be imposed onto somebody and make it a, like a law, or, you know, it, it should be a, from individual. It has to be individual. People should decide when to pray because they have to connect to their God. And, my, and that is where I agree. Um, the way, where I disagree is uh, it is when uh, I see the source, the people that are claiming or proclaiming that we should have, uh, or the people that came up with this day of prayer, uh, how, legit, how legitimate were they in terms of uh, a theology or theology or, or on the Christian aspect? How, how faithful are they? Because here is the situation. That's why today I think we are having this uh, doubt to say, how can people that have been uh, siphoning money from the government or from the people, supplying people with uh, uh, drugs that are expired, be the people that goes and say, uh, come, we pray, we should love one another, when in one breath, in the other breath, they are busy mm -hmm. coming with a gun and try to put you down. So we start doubting whether these people are truly Christian, especially when they start mixing Christianity with politics, we don't need this culture of politician hiding in the name of, uh, of, of God using the Bible to siphon, to steal. Because Zambian people, when they hear someone talk, Parilesa, is the chosen one, is a man of whatever. Ah, we. So that's why, that's where the problem is. To say, the people that authored, the author of this or declaration, their, their faith is questionable. It's like we feel like they're, they're, they're hypocrites. And I'm happy that our president cleared that aspect to say, uh-uh, Umuntu, it's an individual. Prayers can be any day. Every day, it's up to you to, de to communicate to your God. It has to be personal, not if Molesta uh, declare day at your let's pray for the, for the economy. When you know that you are the one who has fought six million, and, 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 and then you come and say, No, it's in to Pepe. People are dying of hunger, people are dying of. Uh, lack of oxygen because of uh, somebody who is selfish, who 
claims that he's a Christian puts the money in his pocket. So that is where the jigs comes in to say, uh-uh, Mwila Tube Pa, don't be hypocrites. Let the Catholic or other church board come and say, let's talk about God. Not I'm a politician. Ah, we. That's why in the start doubt Nawaka in the Ngabalela and the Padilesa. Let him not use so much Jesus. Let him talk about politics, about what is happening. We know he's an elder, but the moment he mixes the two and he blends it in, he'll confuse us and we start praising him as God. So tatule fire, fia kwambo kuitawa kainde, the chosen one, the watin one, ewe nwa awe, twakana. If anything, that declaration should actually be we put aside and let the churches take over. Pira tuale tuale tambaba Zambia shall be saved, Pastor Mo. Those are things that we can talk about and pray, touch the TV or doing whatever, go in the River Jordan and dip ourselves. Yes, we can do that, but not a politician who has gotten money from us illegally and then he comes and tells us to say. I declare this day as a nation of prayer and forgiveness. Forgiving who? Why do you rush to start forgiving someone when you know that you are the one who wronged somebody? Awe, Wakan. That is my view. And I agree with those people who are disagreeing with, the, who are busy uh, challenging uh, this day or questioning this day. That uh -uh, the authors, Awe, they were not legit. It was dirty and therefore. Anything that is not legit should not be praised. Otherwise, we praise him, we love him, and he will listen to us when we pray. And that's why he listened to us when we voted and kicked some thieves out. I mean, uh, 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 the PF out, sorry. That's my view, Mkwai. What, Jerome? Are you there? Are you listening? Uh, J Jeremy seems to have frozen and he's muted. He, yeah, so uh, 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 Gladys, you can comment. You can go ahead and comment on that. Uh, yes, please. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the platform. Uh, as for me, I would say that uh, uh, Christianity, and I'll link it to religion, is such a complex and difficult topic to discuss or to debate uh, because, because we all have different beliefs. beliefs. Uh, there are people who believe in a war. There are people who believe in their mothers. There are people like most of you and I believe in God. There are people who believe in Allah. And uh, today, uh, when we discuss uh, Christianity and religion, it is the one which is bringing up uh, a lot of uh, fights all over the world because of different beliefs and uh, uh, different uh, opinions. So it's a difficult thing to, 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 to really debate or discuss. And uh, as in Zambia, I mean, we, uh, we, we had our, our former president, our Ch um, uh, Dr. Chiluba, may he so rest in peace, who declared uh, Zambia has a Christian nation. Um, my opinion, I would say there was no need of uh, declaring Zambia has a Christian nation because just like most of you, my colleagues are saying that uh, uh, Christianity is individuality. We all walk with Christ and there's no one who is uh, more, more, more Christian than the other. We don't need to go to, 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 we don't need to walk around with a Bible to be called a Christian. I'm a Christian myself. Uh, we find that in the Christian world today, especially in, in Zambia and most of the African countries or all over the world, we find that um, we are quick to judge other people. Just because you are working with the Bible, you think the other people are more evil than you are. And yet you are the one who's walking around with the Bible. You are more evil, more carrying a lot of filthy things. And yeah. if I... Give an example like uh, with uh, our previous government. Uh, well, there was always uh, a national uh, prayers day. 
I, 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 didn't, I didn't see any meaning of National Prayers Day. Whilst there's a lot of uh, fighting, there's a lot of pangas all over, you are really fighting for power, there's bloodshed, and tomorrow you go to say, hey, and pray a lot, and voting the Bible, and, say, and uh, uh, quoting a lot of scriptures that mm -hmm. we are a Christian nation. Where is your Christianity? So we have that, to... That is the Yes, that is a brilliant uh, question, uh, uh, Sister Gladys. Uh, yeah, uh, if, uh, maybe like three years ago, a few years ago, I, I penned a book called The Original Templates, yeah. Yeah. Where to Find Meaning in a Broken World. Oh, and uh, in that book, uh, my thesis statement... My, my thesis statement in that book... There's somebody, there's somebody who hasn't muted the, the microphone, Kasson, so who could it be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my thesis statement in that book is that we are all broken people who live in a broken world and carry around broken lives. Yeah, so uh, whereas we attempt to interpret Christianity from the perspective of our traditions, because each one of us as a, a, a Christian faith tradition through which we were raised, uh, the fundamentals of the faith in the scriptures is that all of us, all of us are broken people. And therefore we cannot um, sacrifice our service to God or to one another mm -hmm. uh, on the grounds that we are not good enough, uh, we, that we are not good enough. So what I mean here is that we are all flawed human beings. And because we're all flawed human beings, that doesn't give us an excuse why we can't come up with something like Christian Nation, why we can't come up with public prayer days, why we can't come up with that. In fact, uh, to the contrary, because we're all broken people and we have these deficits of righteousness and deficits of... Um, um, right conduct, right behavior, right standing with God, because we have these deficits, it's actually a public invitation why we should actually uh, come chase after our God and, and pray together if we have an opportunity. I understand the scandalous aspect of the so-called Christian leaders in our politics. I do understand that very, very well. Uh, you know, the people who introduced the Christian nation, uh, you can look into their lives and find something that you would not attribute to Christians. Because we think that to be a Christian is to be a guy who is a straight jacket. But in God's broken world, there is no person like that. So those ultra expectations of what a Christian should be is actually what hinder us, hinders us from seeing the full and true meaning of the creeds. Uh, just because we are imperfect doesn't mean we shouldn't pray. Just because we, 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 we've made mistakes, we've committed uh, mistakes doesn't mean we should abandon anything to do with God. So on that score, I would like to veer away from the notion that because the politicians who introduced the day of prayer were very bad, therefore we should do away with that day uh, and we shouldn't even pay attention to that because of that. Because in the, in, the, in the full scope of what the full essence of the faith is, we are all broken people, but that doesn't excuse us from not coming together to pray uh, that doesn't excuse us from not coming together to seek God and try to even pray, even in our sinfulness, try to find the light uh, through prayer to our creator God, whether one-on-one -on -one or as a big group. So I don't think it's a terrible idea. They were terrible people. If they committed crimes, they should be investigated and they should be brought to court. By the way, even in the scriptures, the scriptures want them to go to court and the scriptures want the government to punish them. Uh, that is part of the Christian faith. It's called the discipline of God's children. So the faith itself is much broader than political, the ethics of our politics or the lack of ethics in our politics. That's just what I think. Uh, it's a Nikuma Pepo today, ya day as soon as so, Yama Pepo. Imemo Isamuku Contama, Paramure Contama, Venavare, Bank of Zambia, Varefunyempia. Elo Imena Muikala. You know, 
that's why it was Liverpool Zambia to Liverpool mu Africa because we want to continue we expect magic to happen from heaven that manna comes you know bamkeleva let me let me help you with that a little bit muishiwe shani ule unele sawaile mkupe pako in public ngayo aba komeni muishiwe shani muishiwe shani ule unele sawaile mkupe pako pa 12 ngayo ngayo aba komeni pa 12 ukweva dile pepo basalike ai sali asoka pa 12 kuba funya hapo mna ndoko ati bali mkuchitevyo fine so there is a way in which the satakwa boku mubepa so ngabale itwala kuri le sevyo fine nchi bene bale iletelela because ale ita correct your tune so if we to kana na masadi ya ya mlando kwa bati yo abantu abo tule the pana bo ni bacha ko luanshan ngoma mulumuluk if you look at the ministry of jesus yesu abantu ale pepesha ne one of the reasons icho bamu ipaire yesu ale ya papa apo bana ma tax collectors bale abantu bale bale abantu aba jamma bale abantu aba shate mwe kwa bali ebali aba nanku noku no ebu ale no na you know he attended those parties yesa kana na one bench bale mkaribira no The son of man didn't come for the righteous he came for the broken people he came for the lost and stuff like that so icho nde kanya mwa bandi chako ba deti tukani ama pepo mlandu wa misango yaba ichire awe chira muntu ari kwataka musango takwa abo mulunga mipano pene pachana fani pano pene tuli 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 na tuli na tuli na tuli na kristo ngatu wa sabula ka yaka binoculars kaba nagaji ngatu wa victor tu wa vika konto anika ne lens yako a yesu ah you know we wouldn't like to see what we'd like to see about about our lives so mi landile imi sasukile insele ubufi wali chilamo mule umfo pama media people are insulting like the former ministers they're insulting showering their so called enemies with the insults hate tribalism and then yet they come and tell us to say he say ni twika tane chapamo tuchiteshani forgive each other But, but Kelebai, I think that it's very di- that's why it's very difficult to to mix politics and uh Christianity because it's very difficult to hold yourself together and hold yourself as a Christian whilst you align yourself with your political views and in this political views it's like you have you have a, you have an enemy where you cannot just say okay I cannot defend myself and there's a different way of defending yourself not just with the normal Christianity way in politics there's a lot of um, there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of filthy words there's a lot of insults so as a christian it's either you choose where do you want to belong do you want to be in a christian way or do you want to be a politician because it's like being in a war do you wanna, or being a commando do I, do i want to kill or do i want to be a christian so you have to choose otherwise it's difficult to make a balance to be to, to become a christian and at the same time to be a politician okay um, uh, can i speak for the time being please thank you all right uh, for me i i i am I, i'm not happy with the way the the former president behaved because uh, let's just rewind a bit he's the one who even initiated the the day of prayers that's let's just start from that he initiated that yeah and then if we just go back a bit when when you think about it it doesn't mean the, the excuses i've heard from certain people in pf they they say uh we can't go to the uh, 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 prayer meeting because there's no ministry of gender and religion come on let's be realistic since i was born zambia has been a christian nation since i was born that's what i believe because all of us we all went to christian church even though nobody no president no not even Mr. dr kaunda came and said we are all a christian nation but he promoted us more or less to be a christian nation yeah and then on top of that again all the presidents who came after kaunda Okay let me start with uh, Chiruba the one who uh, said let's have uh, uh, Christian uh, we should have a Christian nation yeah after him no, he didn't even make a, a, a ministry for, for for that there was no ministry for gender and religion but he still said it's a Christian nation 
Yeah. All the presidents until His Excellency, Mr. Lungu, Wo Lungu, the long hand, eh? decided to make our country a, a, a Christian nation and a holiday and have that prayer meeting. Today, he doesn't want to attend something he himself manufactured. To be honest with you now, if you now, if I say now my opinion, I've, I've said what I think of them. My opinion is, to me, uh, His Excellency, Mr. Lungu, Dr. Lungu, I don't know what he is because he's got a lot of titles in my head. Making that, making a holiday and a, a prayer day, that was all politics. Because this would have been done by the churches. If we are a Christian nation, why involve, involve the government? Let the churches organize the prayer meeting. Yes, you can, tell, you can tell the churches, okay, you guys, I'll give you this day to be a holiday. Then let the churches organize that. Why do you even have a, a, a thing so that you can be giving envelopes to, 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 to the pastors? I think some of you, you can even come, come, come up with names of those pastors who used to move with those brown envelopes, who used to organize th these same things. Because it's high time when it's something religion, let the religious people tackle it. We've got the Catholics, they've got their own, they have got their own body. They are painters, they've got their own body. Basically, all the big churches in Zambia, SDA, they've got bodies. So why can't those bodies, you get two, 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 two from each body, make one, one body, which can be able to make the thing, and they can, the churches can do it themselves. You don't have to, to go and make a, a ministry for, for PF to come. If they don't want to come, they don't want to come. So to me, they've just proved to me that the day of prayer was all politics. That's all I can say. Thank you. Sorry, okay. can I just say something? Um, yeah, please. Yeah, I sorry, I was having some difficulties with the, uh, my connection, but I think this time I may be a little bit better. Dr. Chanda, please go ahead. I actually agree with uh, Percy because personally, I think that the the announcement of of uh, day of prayer is something that was politically motivated to in to align the Zambians with the way the president and the government wanted to take the people or drag the people along, even though in itself it's a good thing. Personally, I would prefer us to have something like a humanism day where we are actually praying on that day, but we are cleaning up, we are helping one another. Maybe, you know, since it's a holiday anyway, people can go into the hospitals to mop the floor. People can go into the hospitals, being up the dead. People can go into the streets and, you know, clean up everywhere whilst they're singing Christian songs or whatever motivates them in their line of, uh, of prayer because that's actually what a Christian is. At the moment, we've mistaken Christianity to a Photoshop. I can literally take myself, I don't, even the churches where these people go are very unique from the ones that I go to. In my own church, it's practically impossible to take a picture of yourself praying, unless maybe, and it's a Catholic church as well. You have to be a politician or somebody really big to go into my church with a camera and somebody's taking a picture of you kneeling down because it's not allowed. You're not even allowed to have your, your phone on. So when we see people on the pictures, they are kneeling down, they've got their hands in, in you know, in, in prayer. Those, are, those pictures are being taken to send a message to somebody, to tell somebody that you are humble, to tell somebody that you are godly, but in reality, that's not what God wants us to be. If we were to say we are actually Christians, if we're actually Christians, we should look inwards in ourselves. Today, is a, it's, it's a day of uh, prayer. Have I helped somebody? Have I made somebody's life feel better? If I don't even have money, have I said a positive word in somebody's life? You know, you can make it. You are good. You are excellent. You are beautiful. You are good looking. Don't look down upon yourself. You know, you are, there's more to you than what you think. 
that's what the Christian day is supposed to be. But we've politicized it so much that we can even discuss it on this forum on our Kwetu TV because it's political. It's literally a political thing because even us ourselves, if I was to say I want to become an MP, I automatically change what I'm saying. I'll start kneeling down. I'll start praying because I have to grab in what people think. Because if I say the way I'm saying it right now, there will be somebody who will think, oh, Barbara, which I have never Christian. Because that's the way people think. So you have to start taking pictures. You do something. You know, you, you have to show that you're a Christian. But showing as a, you're a Christian is in the works of what we do. In future, it would be nice if Babali would make this Christian day a humanism day. Because I want to every Saturday, every Sunday, but I could change. So if it's a humanism day, we can share with the poor. We can work together. We can clean our towns. It can take one day to sort out. I am a fear in Just by one day, the communities come together and say, let's boil the water. Let's, let's chlorinate the water. Even if they don't have money, you just donate one. You know, the way they do it in other countries. Well, I and a chlorine, well, I an inch, well, I an inch, you boil the water. Within 24 hours, you can solve that problem and you don't even need money. So maybe humanism day more than, you know, I'm a people and calling God to do what God has already anxioned us to do. I submit. Um, I've got a couple of counter arguments to everyone okay. here. Right? Um, Thank you. Uh, um, I don't know. Hey, go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Hey, um, personally, I'm not a Christian, right? Like, I'm an atheist. I grew up in the Catholic Church. My mother's hardcore Catholic, etc. I think we're missing a couple of points here, right? In Zambia, if you look back 100 years ago, like my grandparents, my great-grandparents, none of them were Christian. So what happened to our African spiritual beliefs that we've had for tens of thousands of years, right? Have we just abandoned those beliefs? That's number one. Number two, I think we need to separate church from state. It's very important on a number of fronts, right? If you want the church, if you want the state involved in your religious affairs, it should be from a point of regulation, right? Um, because when I take a look at the report that just came out of France where the church over there was abusing a quarter of a million kids, right? And then the Catholic Church, who've also abused hundreds of thousands, if not millions of kids, right? What type of regulations do we have in Zambia that protects a Zambian child from, um, from pedophiles who are in some of these religious organizations? Because what the Catholic Church did, going back from the 50s, 60s, it's all documented here in the States, it's everywhere is that when they came across a priest who was a pedophile, right? They tried to keep it hush-hush and they shipped them overseas. They send them to Africa, they send them to Asia, they send them to South America. So if the government wants to be in religious affairs, where's our, where, where, where are the bills that are regulating the Catholic church or the Pentecostals, right? And then uh, going back to what Dr. Chanda said, right? It's, and uh, what Percy said, um, Zambia being a Christian nation is all political. Chuluba did it in the 90s because he wanted to appeal to the evangelicals. He was afraid of KK running in 96. He wanted to have that separation, right? And to also distract us from everything else that was going on. And then with Edgar Lungu, it was very clear. Edgar Lungu and the PF were chasing the evangelical vote. That's why they had a national day of prayer. Like broke countries, like Zambia is a broke country. Broke countries do not give themselves public holidays that they do not need. Like, you've got to ask yourself, who's paying for this National Day of Prayer? Like, Zambia is broke. So can we afford to have the entire government, the entire private sector, stop for a day of prayers? If prayers ultimately worked, and I like the whole humanitarianism front, that's good. But if prayers worked, an atheist like me would stop what they were doing, i will get on my knees, and i will pray for Zambia. We need to be action focused. Anyway, that's my two takes for, for this. Thanks. Imba, Imba, please. Give your yeah, view. Uh, good evening, good evening, comrades, good evening, viewers, good evening, everyone. Me, I won't even beat about the bush. 
I won't even cut my waves. I won't even cut them with anything. This National Day of Prayer, to me, it's, it's political. Full stop. That's, that's my opinion. This thing, there's nothing about Christianity about it. And if anything, I agree with the three previous speakers who've just spoken. Tampila Kuliva Pesi, Dr. Barbara, Tresa Kuliva, the previous speaker who've just finished talking. In the first place, what is different? What different is it if we can go and worship, show ground to Ashama churches? Why can't we even say, can people worship within their churches today? So that we keep on following our doctrines, what they believe in in their churches. Why should we all go show ground? When we go show ground, personally, I believe when we go show ground, we are praying. We are praying. We know what happens. Let's not pretend here that we don't know what happens. A lot happens, Kudia. Bamoma debt within the leaders, within everyone there. But then, why should we pretend? Why should we use the name of Jesus or the name of God for political gain? And if this day was not a political thing, today ECL would have been there. He would have been there himself, forgetting everything. And if seriously he really meant what he, he declared this day for, even today, he would have been forefront to, to remember those souls who were killed. The team, he would have said, can we have a moment of silence to remember our fellow Zambians who lost their lives in the fight for freedom? But they've forgotten about that. So if now today they can't go and worship and even uh, forgiveness, that is reconciliation. If today they can't go, what reconciliation were they looking for then when they were in power? And then the people who even conduct these uh, services at the showground, Ramuami, as Vapesi said, why can't we have a, people like the Council of Churches in Zambia? Why can't we have uh, the Catholic team? Why can't we have evangelical fellowship leaders to be there? It's still the government people who still conduct, manage that program. So if we are talking about prayers, who are we praying to? For me, we are just creating an altar for politicians to speak on our behalf or to ask. We don't even know what they tell God on our behalf when they are in front there. We don't even know. And why should you be captured when you are worshiping? I would have even been very happy if they would allow us to worship in our churches. Today, it's, uh, National Day of Prayer, mm -hmm. by Catholic worship in your church, by SDA in your church, by Bread of Life in your church. Not by to be kapam. I raised my case. This day is political. Can I just say one I, thing before I forget what I was going to say? Hello? Uh, yes, my Barbara. Can I just get a moment uh, to say yeah. something? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to it, I just wanted to inform all of you guys and including the viewers uh, that kindly mm -hmm. let us uh, celebrate our beautiful moderator uh, Linda Banks. She's got a birthday today, so you can just send her a message. She'll be able to see it wherever she is. Um, don't ask me how old she is. She's getting younger and beautiful every day. So kindly wish her a wonderful birthday. Thank you. That's all I wanted to say. She's 21. Uh, th thank you, Gladys. Uh, happy birthday, Linda. I know she's very young. She's only 10, 19. Can you imagine? <laughs> happy birthday, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's not even 19, it's 16. That way, I, that's where, that way I'll stay young myself if she's 16. <laughs> so what I wanted to say, you know, uh, when, when it comes to whether you're atheist or a Christian, that... If we, if we remove God and we remove Jesus from the equation, the scripture, the godly scripture, is just about our morals, the morals that we use to conduct our lives within society, what we say is right and what we say is wrong. If Even if you were not a Christian, you did not belong to anything, 
the morals that you use to conduct your daily life, to respect your family, to make sure that the elders are respected and you don't steal, you don't kill your neighbor, you don't convert other people's things. Those are the morals of the society that we live by. Now, the reason, you know, when it comes to people that have committed crime, whether it's a Catholic, whether it's any other church where they are committing crime, if you go by the scripture to those who are Christians, David himself committed a crime. He actually murdered somebody. He murdered somebody, converted their wife because he was in love with the, his friend's wife. He sent the friend to war. Then the guy died. He married the woman. So our faith, like Black like Asonsoa said, is not about perfect people. We are a people that are broken. None of us is perfect. None of us is doing the, you know, none of us is coming from a point where we'll say, oh, my name is Barbara. I've never committed a crime. I, I'll, I'll preach the gospel. I'll talk about God. We are all broken people. However, when we talk about our country, it's a country that has been brought up from a Christian background, you know, from even Ramusha's uh, thesis, if you listen to him. We come from a, a Christian background. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors, even those who were not Christian, if you are, if you are, for, if you are Bemba or Tonga or Lozi, as long as you are within the Bantu region, our traditions are actually Christian. Long before the 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 people opened their Bible, if you give birth to a child, you had to wait forty days. These are Bemba traditions, Lozi traditions, Tonga traditions. That's before. You even open the Bible. So most of the spiritual inclinations that we have that our ancestors base their prayer on are spiritual. And because they are spiritual, they are interlinked. Even if you were to read, if you read the, the Greek mythology, the stories are literally biblical with a, tw with a twist. You know, if you open the Pandora's box, what is coming out is literally a Christian faith with a twist. Now, what I'm trying to say is wherever we are coming from, what we call a Christian day of prayer is literally them trying to remind us of the morals that we believe in, the guidelines that we have to live our lives by. Now, because they've been hijacked by politics by all these things that's why we're saying that there's nothing wrong with us having a day of prayer as long as it's done in such a way that we can all live together whether you're atheist if you're atheist you don't believe in anything i'm sure you'd be happy to go and just make sure that the church the 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 hospital building where your grandmother is is clean you join in cleaning call it a cleaning day if it makes you happy if you don't like catholics and you see them praying the hail mary fine just call a the Lady Eva, but you join in cleaning the dirty places, you join in cleaning the markets. That's part of humanity, Ubuntu. That's what Dr. it's all Tanda, about. Conclude, please conclude. Please conclude. So in, in summary, as long as if you can't fear my politicians, if you can't fear child, no we can my morals, there's nothing wrong with it as long as we do it properly. Yeah. Uh, but Jeremy, let me just uh, uh, do a recap on the things I've heard from my colleagues and then we can move to a different topic. Yeah, but maybe before, before you move to a different topic, I wanted to share you something. Can, let me that you can just say in one or two, two minutes and we have limited okay. time. Please, we are many. Thank you very much. In, in, in two minutes, I've been itching, you know, to just contribute something on this topic. Um, I've, I've liked the position that uh, Jones Kasonso has taken and Dr. Barbara has taken. The reality is uh, we are coming from a Zambia that has been Christian before David Livingstone even came in to discover whatever he discovered. So we've been a Christian. We've, we've believed in a God, though there have been other different religions available. Now, where the problem has been with the Christian nation and the prayers is exactly what others are saying. It has been politicized. But how do we do it? Do we get rid of it because it has been? How do we unpoliticize it? That's a, that's what we should dwell on. Because even when we talk about real Christianity, even in our own churches where we go to, not everyone, all of us in our, in our churches, 
we have our own areas where we are not doing fine and we don't say no let's close the church because no one here is perfect but we find a way of how do we develop and and grow and and and, and make a difference in the long run so my my take on this topic is let's encourage zambia as a christian nation if we go into other places we've seen how secularized other places are currently you go to europe a lot of churches are turning into bars, into nightclubs. I'm currently in the Netherlands, in the in, in Canada here. A lot of churches are closing almost on daily basis. You hear churches being closed. And if we say we get rid of Christianity in Zambia and say, let's get rid, then we're saying, okay, along the way, we should get rid of what is written in the constitution. And then everyone will be saying, okay, we are now free. We can do whatever we want. But for now, let's find ways let's encourage that we and politicize uh, the national day of prayer that would be the position that would be very neutral in, in going forward thank you thank you thank you thank you mr chair where mulenga and uh, uh, Muata Shikopa, we are going to be praying for you to find Jesus. I recommend my book, the original template. You need to read it. Uh, we, we, are, we are thankful that you declared that you are an atheist. Uh, you are a good client of ours for purposes of evangelism. I'm sure Dr. Elias <laughs> would agree with me on that. So, and then uh, I want to agree with... Um, my colleague, uh, Percy Sham, uh, Percy, Percy uh, spoke about the misgivings from uh, the other side of the aisle in parliament or the, the, the opposition now, uh, the opposition, PF, um, the, 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 of trying to cling on to the Ministry of Religious Affairs and use it as an excuse. Churches, churches, before even the word ministry went to government, churches are the ministry so if we are trying to administer Christ, there are ministries already in the Zambia. So let's use the churches, the concept that um, Dr. Bob promoted, uh, the, and, uh, and, and Ms. Uh, Ms. Uh, Mulambo uh, promoted that let's go and pray in our churches because the churches are the ministries that help us to cultivate prayer, prayer for the families, prayer for the nation, prayer for the leaders, and things like that. What we cannot do is to Christianize the enterprise of government. And I also sympathize with all of my colleagues because they have mentioned uh, that uh, National Prayer Day is actually a political issue. Zambia as a Christian nation is actually a political issue. But we have to also understand ourselves as Zambian people. We are a very religious people. And any politicians who comes and veers away from the traditions of trying to be a Christian, he is playing in very muddy waters and the electability is at stake. This is the reason why the Dr. Frederick Chiluva stood up to declare Zambia as a Christian nation. And, and, and because he saw the popularity of Zambia shall be saved. There was a lot of people getting born again and the crusades of that. So he harvested part of that uh, to be um, uh, to declare Zambia as a Christian nation, so we are very religious people. Um, I've liked uh, the question that was asked here: How do we depoliticize the prayer, National Prayer Day? I think a very good first step is to abolish the Ministry of uh, Religious Affairs because the Ministry of Religious Affairs attempts to duplicate the ministries, the churches, and the Ministry of Religious Affairs reported to the president. A president who has never been to the priesthood, he doesn't even know how, how much to be holy. And the, 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 the ministry was reporting to him. If you go to the structure of the kingdom of Israel, the prophet Nathan was not reporting to King David. King David was a politician and a military genius, also a worship leader in church. But he was not over the priesthood of matters. Those guys are the ones who prayed and they went and told him what God said. So the whole idea of putting the Ministry of Religious Affairs, I think, was not just no, was not just against the Bible structure, but it was, uh, you know, an overreach of political play and political power. Try to find acceptability. Then, uh, one of our colleagues mentioned that we should explore 
our traditional uh, traditional religious beliefs if you need to join us here one if you did to stay for it because most of our traditions mm -hmm. are incorporated. In fact, the, the Bible story uh, is a good tapestry that weaves together our traditions and leans to the positive values rather than the values in our traditions that lean much to witchcraft, envy, and the unending wars and strife and conflicts, inter-family conflicts, and inter-tribal wars. So in a nutshell, I think that the National Prayer Day must continue because of the nature of us as a Christian people. But let that National Prayer Day be spearheaded by the churches, not a political government. And government, stay out of our church. If you come to pray, come to repent. Don't come to come and declare the political filth, or stolen money or misdirection of the country. Because if we take the political failures, and the political misgivings of our le political leaders and impose it on the church, then we are defeating and, and polluting the very mm -hmm. purpose of the church, which is to be the salt of the world, which is to be the light in the places of darkness in our lives, which draws us towards our creator God and helps us to establish lives that are enduring and grounded in the purposes of God for mankind. Thank you. <clears throat> Can I just say one, one thing? Uh, no, 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 doc, doc, please. No, no, but Percy, can you help us with the, the comments? We engage the viewers, please. But Percy, please. Problem, it seems like uh, our little sister Linda has taken over our airwaves. But um, I, have a, a, I have a few comments from the, from the public. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, I have a, a one question from uh, Meg. Uh, she says, I don't know if it's a she or he, uh, can you have morality upright politicians if you cancel the day of prayers? And what is the argument? This is uh, Meg Cubs. And uh, then another one is from uh, BJ. He says, uh, why, is it, uh, why is it a holiday? What does Christian mean to you? So can you answer on that one? Uh, I, I, I have not heard the question. Uh, 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 there was a, an obstruction in my line. Someone was trying to call me. Uh, please repeat the question. Okay. Uh, there's one from uh, Make Cup. Once we yes. say once we say your comment, that also Percy say the comments from Facebook. Then he, okay, I sure. think we can uh, yeah answer all the questions. Okay. Sure. Oh, all right. Let me give you one. Um, there is uh, there is one comment saying yes, we can. Yes, we are a Christian nation, but has it been a holiday? That's a one from uh, Nora. And basically, the rest of it is just our little sister on my timeline at the moment. Gladys, please, can you ask the first question you asked so that uh, different people can pick? Anyone who feel they have the answer, I think, feel free to, to come in. But uh, I, I think the question, the, the question Gladys who asked, Wakaso, so is the pastor, he, okay, he's studied that field. So I think he would be the best person to answer the question the way it felt, unless there's somebody who's got, who can answer it, but I... That's my opinion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my it's, answer, but you don't want to hear it. <laughs> we'll wait for Bakasonso to give uh, his opinion on the other questions. I just wanted to to air to answer about Malama General because he mentioned my name and said that I'm defending sodomy in the Catholic Church. It's it's each me, so I have to answer him. <laughs> In Genesis chapter 19, sodomy is when God sent angels, masters, men, 
to Sodom and Gomorrah who were going to be raped. The men tried to rape those two angels, those male angels. That's where the word Sodom comes from. So just a, a point of clarification by, Gen, by Malama General, I have at no point defended Sodom in the Catholic Church. I just wanted to make that clear. And for reference, please go to Genesis 19 so that you can read it. I submit. One, by position. It's from um, uh, Meg Cubs. She's showing up now. Menang mana kashi? At uh, can you have mol uh, morally upright politicians if you cancel the day of prayers? And what is the argument? And then okay. uh, one is, and uh, maybe you can answer on that one, and then I'll give you the second one. No, just give me the other, the second one too. So I can uh, the second one is uh, why is it a holiday and uh, what does what does Christianity means to you? It's these are from okay. the YouTube uh, from the YouTube viewers. And my yeah, other the, question, the my other question is, Vakason, so are you are you a priest or your pastor or something? Uh, a, yes, uh, I am a graduate of seminary as well. Okay, no wonder no wonder to my response to angle on biblical studies. So anyway. Uh, it seemed wrong whenever I wasn't listening the time you were saying the things you've done. I remembered. That's why I said Vakaso says no one who can answer that. I was just trying to do a good book. <laughs> I, 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 I appreciate I appreciate right, uh, that one of my skills is not just to read statistics and explain the dynamics of uh, the economy. I can also read and interpret ancient Greek, the language in which the Bible was written. So I went to school for that and paid uh, also for that. So uh, let's uh, try to also uh, collect uh, uh, a question and a response from YouTube. Uh, that um, um, follower of ours is a very important individual and uh, uh, Mike also um, likes to throw some money so when I talk good Mike uh, don't clap just throw money uh, and you know put money in that YouTube so so that we can come back again tomorrow so um, can we have good moral politicians without the National Day of Prayer of course we can we already have had that before uh, the whole institution of a National Day of Prayer was for, in my view, was for President Lungu trying to uh, compensate uh, for uh, uh, showing that he was a Christian and things like that. But from what we know about his life and his faith and his background, I once uh, even uh, tagged him pre-election as a PWC, uh, which meant president without a church. Because when you say you're a Christian, you already had to associate with a particular church in terms of your background. We didn't have that for our former president. So in my view, the declaration of a Christian nation had something to do with overcompensating. Overcompensating to look more Christian, to attract Christian support. Uh, but that's what under the bridge. Because sometimes if we read the scriptures, even if very evil kings did some noble things, that must not be swept under the bridge together with the, their legacy. So the National Day of Prayer, what does it mean to you? And, and, and things like that. It hasn't been explained very well uh, to a theological mind like myself. Yeah, but I think what it is about, it's to call us, remind us uh, to the brotherhood of all Zambians together to go and pray. The problem is that the guy who instituted this, he was probably just told by other Christians who were supporting him. He is the kind of guy who least wanted the country united, the way he appointed people, the way he ran the government. And if you look at um, the debt that he has left for the nation, more than $20 billion, uh, it is anything biblical. In the Bible, we have to be stewards, stewards of resources stewards of the people. And there are certain principles that are expected of a leader. So he wasn't grounded in the theological frame of a, of a moral Christian leader that was worth following. That's a given. 
That is why my friends here, once they declare National Day of Prayer political, they want to now associate it with PF. I understand that deficit. But it is a noble concept to the extent that it calls us to a moment to think about our neighbors. Uh, like Dr. Barbara has said, let's even expand it. Instead of just starving people, people who are in churches can starve. But people can choose to go and do other services that bring us as a country together and push that to the churches to promote it. The mother bodies of the churches, they are priests and powerful men of God who have served the Lord in the yeah, Republic yeah, of Zambia. Who can, lead, so I say, call me. who can lead, who can lead us? To come in, I hear them. Who can lead us in that sense? But to put a political Madam leader... Can you, if, do, do even, a minute. Madam can you... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so but to put uh, to prop up a political leader as a guy who's going to lead the nation in a, in a national prayers and stuff like that, it's not only uh, not biblical, it is, you know, re remember there was a king in Israel who tried to usurp the role of the priest Samuel, and because he tried to do that, he lost the kingdom because God doesn't tolerate that. If he's, if you are a warrior, you have got blood in your hands, he keeps you in the throne so that you can serve his purpose of instituting the bureaucracy of government to instill what the purpose of government over the people. He does usually not give you the role also of priesthood, which is about atonement and redemption to do that. So I agree with our atheist here that there must be a clear separation of the church and the state. I agree with that uh, conceptualization because even the Bible expects that clear separation. But Charlo Chavena Christwich, so the question of the Sana program, you have a Christ, Mukaire, Teram Kalusin, the Puma Fruits, a patch, every child. So that's that we look at the Achia Panavan. Dr. Kaponso, hold on a second, right? You have a background in economics, right? And by the way, I've ordered your book, so I should have it by Thursday. And hopefully I'll mail it to you and you can sign it for me, if, if you please. But uh, uh, what... uh, 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 kud kudos, <laughs> you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the economic cost of having this holiday? Has somebody actually done the math, right? Because Christians, you guys already have three holidays on the books, right? You have Easter Friday, Easter Monday, and you have Christmas Day. Then you want another day you know, just for yourselves, right? But meanwhile, our country is broke. We have right? Sunday in Saturday. That, you know, that our economy is losing when people are not as productive as they can be. So what's the true economic cost of Christians having this day? I don't think the enterprise of government, thank you for that brilliant question. And uh, usually it's a person with an ethics, uh, with an atheist background uh, trying to pin down Christians that they are trying to be expensive on the national budget and they are costing money by these unnecessary holidays, which is actually a great idea. And I would agree with that. We don't just introduce holidays uh, to make people balich one dollar or balich tafimbi to distract from national productivity. I do not think the government has, the previous government when they introduced this holiday, uh, they calculated the cost on the economy. So we don't have that information. If I'm wrong, they can make it uh, public and challenge here, uh, challenge us here on TV. So, but holidays, like my colleague is mentioning, they have an economic cost, an economic cost to the companies, economic cost to the families, and economic cost to the country. So we shouldn't just throw out holidays in any way and fashion and form. In fact, in Zambia, we must take stock I hope the secretaries to the cabinet can do this. Take stock of how many holidays we have in Zambia and compare it relatively with countries of our size if they have the can, those numbers of holidays. Yeah. So uh, I, I would agree that the holiday may have been unnecessary, but it's already here. Uh, so what can we do with it? We can diversify with it. Like Dr. Barbara mentioned, we can devote elements of it. If we find that the cost is prohibitive, we can devote some of it to public service. Public service where it's productivity, we are helping the country and we are helping our neighbors. We are doing something that is advancing the cause of our nation. The other thing that you've mentioned that we must also relate to the money is we must be able to have 
clear conceptualizations of 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 of, of um, economic costs of public decisions, economic costs of public decisions. Because sometimes we run this government, uh, in the past we've run these governments that are out of control in terms of cost control. What one economist said, is like mwamku teabola, ukwa wula kokeeper. So, imamule elwisha mule pika kuda mule mwamku ingisha. Aba nenu yonsufa nga vayi kata kwa pa, wapanta fea ingila imamu alosa. So, we cannot be uh, a losing country uh, economically. So, we have to have uh, good gatekeepers who are looking at productivity and things we can do in that regard. I think that's the way to take that question. I hope I've responded to that correctly. Thank you, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm, just, Jeremy, just to add on what Wakasonsa was saying, Pakulandati, how can we make the National Day of Prayer and political. The, the other thing, apart from abolishing the Ministry of Religious, is also to make it that it's uh, no political leaders are involved. The moment the Christian leaders or the church leaders will take it up, but I am going to pretend it will become boring for them. And they'll stop coming. So, Kashara, if you're a genuine Christian, Bakason, so faith. Why? I'm a politician. I'm going to go to the pastor. Because the The moment you are going to put real pastors, real church ministers, Bakale because it will be boring for them. Takwa kwa kwa black, ma brown envelope. Takwa kwa 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 It will be boring. So it will be genuine. And it will be non-politicized. Yeah. Faith without work is dead. Okay. I so, get your, your point. And just like we have all said, uh, you see, TV Bakwe tweets every time try to get as much interest in as possible. And we um, seems like we are all more of the political TV as compared to most of the things, because whatever we say, definitely one or another will land ourselves in issues of politics. We, we, we have all agreed on one thing to say, although we have not agreed that we need this day to, be, to, to continue, but we have agreed that Zambia is a religious nation and we need the day of prayer and fasting, though the politicians are dividing us by not attending. I didn't see any PF politician who attended today the prayer and fasting in the show grounds, including their perverted Shimbakam with the president for PF, even given when the vice president was not there, the their SG, deputy SG, no one was, was there in attendance. Well, a year ago, they were all in attendance and uh, scorning the United Party for National Development for not attending their prayer and, uh, and fasting. Besides that, if President Church was there, they would have said, no, it's because of President Church. But the president said, I'm going to have my prayer and fasting in Mansa so that the people in Osaka can attend. Now, what made the PF aware a year ago scorning the United Party for National Development not to attend the prayer and fasting. I didn't see any of the PF top leadership in attending that. Jerome, it's okay. Elonga, the other thing, Kuba Pera Nama Shave of Varanda Bababla. Pilotka Tampo Kuba Pera Nama Shave on F Piango Pianga Muse. I can't get a child, Mobaku Abutuka. You see, already, but Jerome. Can I come if we in give as well? them money Already? to go into <clears throat> hospital to clean, they'll stop. If we say no, from morning to 11, coup paper, from 11, 10, UTH, Mochari Mkupianga, UTN, Kuma Hospital, they'll stop <laughs> and we'll have genuine people. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Jeremy, what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, the, the, non, the, the, the reason why uh pf members could not even have uh the the courtesy 
to come and uh, attend their own day they created. It is them that created this. Goes to show that everything these guys mostly did was a sham. And well, the, 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 the current regime, they must be actually be very careful in how to ceremon- uh, uh, celebrate these kind of days that were enacted or, or given uh, w- that were brought in by this uh, regime, the previous regime. If anything, I am so happy when the 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 minister of religious was was uh, left out. It has it's not there. It's no more, and uh, they can do the same thing, like scrap off that issue of uh, national prayer and bring something else that will bring the un- the, the country together, like we are putting here. That uh, even Kamanyo Leba. We come in as together, Ubuntu, humanism, Twaikalapan. We start uh, helping one another. I'm a street kid in Mwemwan, Bali, Fulham, Zambia. I have never seen, not even when I'm a pastors with their bellies, driving, garavanting with the, you know, living a flamboyant lives. They have never even helped picking up with these kids to take to take for, 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 for food or shelter or giving them clothes. Meanwhile, preach and they are busy telling us Meanwhile, today are expensive. But the people that they are saving, the people, the congregates themselves, and the people that are on the street, we don't see uh, that, that humanity. Like that gentleman from South Africa, who is, uh, is it BI, who is going around the street helping people. If that guy came to me and said, I want you to join my church, I would actually be love to join him because I see what he is doing. He is helping the need. He is helping the people. Not to yo, this is the day we should now kneel down and pray. When they walk into the bank and they start withdrawing in the Rama Wabika Mayanda. That to me, it's hypocritical, <laughs> and we should not even sell them, uh, we should demonize them. You know, we should demonize these people that have stolen and killing our people under the pretext of humbleness or Christianity. You know, we should not destroy our religions like that. You know, that's why people, because churches and what we, what is happening in Muma Muma politics, we are using Ishinaria Kualesa, we are taking the name of the Lord in vain. And he will not hold us guiltless if we does take his name in vain. We are busy stealing. Even when the Bible tells us, thou shall not steal. We are busy converting other people's wife. Even when the Bible tells us, thou shall not convert your neighbor's wife. We are stealing, we are killing people. What is it that our religious people, you know, pastors, you are the people in the forefront today, we are hearing our headlines. Now, you're just destroying the whole, the whole Christian. So, and you are very good at noting it to scriptures. From Sunday school to now, you know, not quicker a few church at you know. Uh, we want people to have the, 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 the mindset of working hard. Go to school, 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 Yes, conclude. Conclude. let me conclude this way. This day, <laughs> this day should actually be either maintained for the public and to help those in need not to use the same some some of these terms which are not in line with what we do. Our actions are different. And then we come up with these nice phrases, National Day Prayers, forgive, for, is it forgiveness or something like that? Reconciliation. Bufi, tu alikuwa tisasa no bufi. So, isen tuleke, buhata lutuele. Hypocritical. 
Mm-mm. Thank you, Bom. Okay. Thank you, Bom. Bom, Kerabai. We we have uh, just like I mentioned. The, though we had many it's about ten minutes for us to talk about the other uh, uh, topic. We have the by elections that are happening, and the president is moving around in terms of do one or two of the campaigns and the campaign message which is given the people. I think it's the first of kind of a message that I've ever had myself, and there's a lot of hope. In the next 10 minutes, how many are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in one minute each, can we say one or two words? Please, let's stick to 60 seconds. I'll cut you if you're above 60 seconds. Uh, can we start from there? Uh, okay. Okay, no problem. Let me then I go can... to no Dr. Kasonso who will come and conclude. Let me start with the Chimu. Uh, yeah. yeah, start from there. Yeah, hi, hi, Jerome. Yeah, so I was um, I was rather impressed with how quiet the political scene was in Zambia, right? So typically, if we just go back to a year ago, two years ago, if there was any type of by-election, say in Luapula province, right? So the government would shut down the entire province, wouldn't allow opposition to go over there and campaign. And uh, what the president has done today is he's actually kept a campaign promise, which is your constitutional rights will be respected, right? So you can go to Luapula, wherever the by-election is, campaign to, to your heart's content. No one's going to block you. You can go on media, television, radio, et cetera, campaign as much as you want. So that space has opened up. So I'm very encouraged by this. Hopefully this continues. And the president as well was also deliberate in like downplaying the national day of uh, prayer. All right, thanks. Oh, hi, mom. She messaged me. She's upset about me telling everyone I'm an atheist. Mom, you got to relax. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll come back to that. <laughs> right. Dr. Barbara Chanda, please, in one minute. Thank you very much, Jerome. So the message is very clear. Uh, Bali, our president uh, of Zambia, uh, HH, has made it very clear. He's not practicing the Christianity of, you know, scripture, left, right, and center. He's going by the works. Somebody today, I was very touched. Somebody was trying to kneel in front of him. He asked the person that only, you know, kneel before God. That's a classic example of what I mean by works of God. That's absolutely brilliant. I was really touched by that. And it goes to show that this human being is trying to instill in us who are so used to being bullied, so used to being shouted at, so used to being abused, to actually now being human beings. And because of that, that's the best person that we need as a president. And we, as, as a UPND myself, I'm supporting the UPND team because we've got something good in front of us. I submit. Thank you. Oh, Percy, please, your take over this. In a minute, please. Percy. Oh, Percy. Oh, that's okay. me. Percy. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, to be honest with you, yeah, uh, myself, uh, I'll, I'll say a few things. Just the first one, come with. If you've heard that during this by-election, not going anywhere else, just this by-election, it should be locked up. Because for me, the police are not doing their job. Full stop. I don't have to go anywhere else. The police are not doing their job. You can put the head, but you've got those people who are working for PF. You know, if, if I was the one appointed by PF, yes, I will hold you, put you in cell and let you go. I won't take it to court. That's what's happening right now. That's my opinion. I'll leave it right there. Okay, thank you. Uh, Imba, the, can you please come in? In a minute, please. Um, thank you so much, Jerome. I'm not from a country. I'm sign. I'm back to our free land. I'm from a at least we are going to take to take a chalo, me see. Not if you are a fetch pante pante chidunu, no kono kovalechta. They've seen. I was very impressed when the president was in the. Is it in Chisamba? When he was campaigning and delivering his message, when I saw this woman was wearing a PF 
uh, Chitenge. And she was even standing in front of the UPND card as massive. And I said, God, you are a living God. You are a true God. That woman today, but we thank God for what the president is doing. And Chishimba Kamwiri, we just have to tell him to sit down. I think Chishimba Kamwiri, we will cut you off now. We don't have all the time. Maybe grab this uh, in a minute, please. Uh, thank you, Jerome. I think I'll just take uh, the opportunity to probably ask the, the, the president, my message to the president and all the people who are surrounded by him, that uh, uh, during this uh, by-election uh, campaign, um, I think I would advise that uh, now he's got a, uh, an opportunity to deliver the message and sens sensitize the nation concerning uh, uh, vaccination so that he can deliver the message and then people can choose whether they should be vaccinated or not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Vom Kerabai, I think it has come back to you again before the yes. professor concludes. No, I am going to be brief and uh, to uh, let me just say that uh, with these by elections, uh, we want uh, uh, UPND to continue in power, and uh, I would suggest <laughs> or rather age many Zambian people, please. Do not vote for the, the, the previous regime. You know what they did. They almost killed you. And we have this president and the new Don that has brought light in our, in our country. So countrymen, for you who are voting, please vote for the, for the government of the day, for they have just begun. Because they won't be anything so we just want uh, the people to vote wisely and, uh, and no violence. Show the PF that you are a different government, a government of peace. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Kasonzo, can, can you please conclude then I close the, the program? We are almost done with our one or our 30 minutes. Can you please conclude? Well, thank you so much, uh, Brother Jeremy, and uh, uh, thank you for moderating the show today. Um, I've uh, seen the president's campaigns uh, today. I think apparently he was campaigning in Northwestern province uh, before he went to Lopula to do the National Prayer Day. So there was a bit of confusion. Some people were beginning to think that he is, is becoming Oman present. Uh, he's in two places at the same time. They were debating one place against another place. But no, 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 no. The, 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 play, the president is moving in a bird, uh, a man-made bird, so they can move him from one area to the other in a short period of time. I think that what might pollute our, our political uh, process uh, 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 tribal campaigns if they're not curbed. The president laid the way in a wonderful way. He talked about his one month and three weeks in office, the things he has achieved. Naria Milombelom to work of it, one million. Naria Archipendomu in a Ninkanya Fiamakada Zukula, Mavan, Mamarike, Tikumi, and Dramashamato, Matom, Mam Pushisha, Nin Data Order. So, and he was very conservative, maybe three things, I've forgotten the, the other thing that he mentioned. So that is very good, you know, because it, it, he is introducing a different kind of politics to Zambia. The politics of being honest and campaigning on the real issues of what you have done. He's not saying, uh, he mentioned it to the people. He said to them, Kaloleshen kuri budget yam 2022. Decentralizing government so that we have contracts on the ground. The thing I wanted to comment on, and I'll conclude with this. constituencies across the country. You importing from everywhere. And the country won't go anywhere. So, to fill up, we have a penny of 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 a penny of
unnecessary imports, see, ban them temporarily and they give impetus to small scale industries in those uh, constituencies to emerge. Nama products, here is the chain stores. Let most of them be grown by our farmers uh, to uh, uh, joint uh, ventures with, between our people and people who have equipment and machinery from other parts of the country. And most importantly, Avantu, Basaleni, Vakateka, Avantu, where we can make positions, not to clear to watch the apply about the 20 Balea Ku DMM, where we are to go for corruption because we are to go for Balea and Abo. Yeah, we don't second guess people. I go to go for Shinsha and Shitabala, yeah. Avantu, Kabale, it's the apply. Nisha, Kabale, for Afyoku Bomba. You know, believe the best about your followers. Give them jobs. Gakulanga tawale fwa ababe ko 20, wawatu wa, wa, wala kumbi. Wemfumu niwe, pela abantu wa machito. Eh? Kuyako kwa kusoro 